Hi Stranglers fans, um, hi Rare Punk Vinyl fans, I don't quite know how this is going to work, I've got a lot to show you, but I'm in the middle of my working day, um, and customers might come through the door any second, um, the phone might start ringing, but I thought now's the best chance of doing this, rather than wait till later today, because this particular part of the building gets really, really hot, so I've got a lot of special things to show you today. Um, I'm going to start with two things that didn't come from the man in, in Havana. Um, okay, I'm going to show you, so I'm going to try not to rush it, I'm going to try and make this video legible, but as you can understand, a door might be opening, the phone might be ringing, I might have to shut this video off several times and restart again. Um, but let me show you this, this is the Japanese 5 minutes. Um, it is the second pressing, it's a variant. Let me just get rid of all this stuff. Okay, so yep, yeah, we've got the front cover, which is just a one paper insert. We've got the reverse, which has the lyrics. Let's see if they've actually mistranslated any of it. Okay, yeah, first verse is okay. Yeah, obviously chorus is okay. Second verse, fine. Third verse, okay. Fourth verse, okay. So they've actually translated that correctly. It's usually a bit of a, a laugh and a jolly jape with translated lyrics from Japanese to English. This is the bag it would have come in. And the variation is on the label, whereas um, this says, I don't know whether you can make it out, Liberty United Records Inc. Incorporated. Okay, right down there. Normally I think it says something like, um, manufactured by United Artists, something like that. So this has been quite a hard one to find. Thank you Mark Hodgson for supplying me with this. Let's see if I can gently wrap it all up. All good so far. Right, I know one poly bag's bigger than the other. So let's Try that smaller one. Okay. And that goes in there, he says, he hopes. Don't think it does, you know. I think, yeah, I got it right first time round. Sorry for the faffing about guys and gals. That. And that is that. Okay. One down. Many to go. This is the second one. Uh, this is a Dutch No More Heroes. The cover's seen better days. You've got a lot of ring wear in there on the cover, which I'm hopefully going to be able to remove. As with all the early Dutch releases, the, the cover is a very satiny, sort of cloth textured finish. Not matte, not gloss. Kind of, well, very slightly satin, but it's got this weird cloth mesh type look on it. Back to No More Heroes. Made in Holland. Now, the early Stranglers releases in, in Holland, they used really interesting covers, really made them special releases. So if only they would have done something different to this, because this is like the standard release. Um, the best worldwide No More Heroes release I've seen so far is the Brazilian, with the, the Tubes font, combined with the Shatter font as well. Whereas this is just the same standard that we've all seen. 
Okay, now my man in Havana. The package finally came through. This is the package I've been alluding to for quite a few months now. Um, it got lost in the post. Um, I raised the roof with um, Parcel Force International and um, yeah, sent them a really terse letter and mysteriously on the tracking it said sorted literally about 20 minutes after I sent it and I got it the next day so I'm gonna start off with this which is a compilation called No Wave uh, it's on released in the States on the A&M label it says clear vinyl but that is not quite true um, let me get to that in a tick great lineup of artists there Slip this out. I'm not quite sure whether I like that cover. I don't think I do. I think it's. I think it's everything that was perceived incorrectly of punk um, as a phenomena as depicted by the US. Just, you know, we weren't like that. Anyhow. So, yeah, you've got some good stuff on here. Um, why have I got this? Why have I got this? This release features the Stranglers on two tracks. You've got Bring on the New Biles and you've got Nice and Sleazy. So that's why this is top of the hit list. Um, I mentioned that it wasn't in clear vinyl because it's not. It's like a... They call this Waves vinyl. Translucent blue Waves vinyl. Let me just spin that round. And I'm looking forward to playing this. It's got a great selection of tracks. You do have by the UK Squeeze, otherwise known as Squeeze, uh, Take Me I'm Yours. What a great track that is. And you've got Roxanne by the Police, Got the Time, Joe Jackson, Don't Care by Clark Kent, uh, erstwhile member of the Police, um, I'm Alive by The Secret, never heard of them. Bring on the Nubiles by the Stranglers, ending side one. Uh, side two starts with UK Squeeze again, strong in reason. Sunday Papers by Joe Jackson, Give It Back by the Dickies, Next to You by the Police, Nice and Sleazy by the Stranglers, and You Drive Me Ape, You Big Gorilla by the Dickies. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to giving this a spin later on. Um, I left all this here last night at work because we're having a bit of a heat wave at the moment and I didn't want any of my vinyl to to get warped so I put it in a cool place and also gives me a chance to produce this video today for you now this also came with a little surprise which is like an in-store promo poster piece for the album Quite big, but I'm really not sure of that image. What can I say about it, eh? Right, let me pop it back in here, then we'll really start to dig in. In you go, come on, in you go, fantastic. Right now, for years, I said, I'm not going to collect Strangler's bootlegs. It's not official, it's not by the band, I don't want anything to do with it. How wrong was I in the years to come? So now I try and get a hold of um, every Strangler's bootleg that I can see, that I can find. This one is a fabled Strangler's bootleg album. This is... Apollo Revisited. Um, Glasgow Apollo, I think. Double album. Great selection of tracks. I'm just going to pause that for you there. Really great selection of tracks. I think, um, I could be wrong, but was this on the La Folie Tour? Not quite certain. I think it was, though. Um, let me open up this rather sticky 
PVC sleeve and show you the contents. Beautifully presented. You've got an interview by Hugh on Radio Clyde and some great pictures of the band. Um, yep, standard black vinyl. Let me just pull out record number one. Great label. Superb. So I'm really going to be looking forward to playing this tonight. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a soundboard or it's a very good audience recording, but apparently the sound recording is fantastic. See if I can put this back in. Okay, Let's be careful with this. Good picture of JJ on the back as well. Come on, in you go. Great picture of JJ. Okay, so that's that one ably shown off to you. Um, let me skip away from albums and records at the moment and show you this, which came in the package. This is the Stranglers Japanese tour program from the December 79 tour. It's got those graphics where some people hate them or love them. I personally love them. Very, uh, very Japanese, very different. These aren't that uncommon, but what they are is pricey. And there's two versions of this program, I believe. There's um, obviously this version, and there's a version with, um, I think it's a Strangler's lyric book. In it, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Somebody in the comments. All right, Jet, old friend. Great picture of Jet there. Lots of great pictures of the band. Good old Dave. on eBay right now um, and they've included a concert ticket uh, I could be wrong I think it's signed by Hugh I think um, but I think they want about $150 for that there we go December 79 Japanese tour program she says uh, okay please um, give me a good slap if I pronounce these incorrectly. Uh, 10th of December, they played Sapporo Oyakai Kan. On the 11th, they played Nagoyako Kaido. On the 13th, they played Fukuoka Sukushai Kai Kan. On the 13th, they played Tokyo at the Kokraku Kun. 14 they played Osaka on the Menichi Hall. 15th they played Kyoto at the Kyo Dai Saibu Kodo. Oh man, I do apologize. Uh, 16th they played Tokyo at the Kokraku Ken. Again. Interesting that they came back to it after the 13th. Marvellous. Been after that for a while. Right, now I have an old bootleg here. 
uh, Stranglers the early years. I mean, I bought this on CD, which I still got in back in '92. Um, but apparently, the vinyl is a little bit hard to get hold of now. With longtime Stranglers associate Owen Kahn doing all the all the liner notes. Show you the back. Sound quality, to be fair, is dreadful. Um, I'm hoping that one day we'll get a proper multi-box set of Stranglers sessions and proper demos in in master quality. Uh, hopefully, one day. Um, the lovely thing about this is this was print pressed in many different coloured vinyl. Double vinyl, lime green for mine, and brown. You see, the people who produce these, they've missed a trick. What it should have been, they missed a big trick. It should have been gold and brown. Doesn't that make total sense? Still, it's nice to have it. This one is, um, who knows what the truth is, distributed. Strictly limited edition number 4645. Um, I very much doubt that's a true number. Moving on, um, I have from the same LP uh, white label test pressing. Two albums, both test pressings of that previous album. Weird thing about this is that. Um, You'd expect it to be in like a clear vinyl for some reason, I think, but it's actually in black. That's very nice. Moving on, I have, and this is the last thing I've got to show you today. Um, this is Strangler's Japanese release of Don't Bring Harry, or as they like to call it, Don't Bring Happy. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the promo release. Um, it's denoted promo by that little rectangular box there. If you've got this release and you've got that little box, then it's the promo version you've got. If you haven't got that box, then it's the standard stock release. Back cover. I'm sure you'll be familiar with the front cover. Let's see if I can... Uh... Oh, and it has got the Obi strip as well. Thank you, man in Havana, for including that. This is the Obi, which is um, goes on most Japanese releases. And Obi direct translation means sash. Little strip of fold-out paper there, as you can see. Terrific. Well. Thank you, man in Havana, for sending me these. Just see if I can get it back in the sleeve. Ah, from the top. Lovely. And that, as they say, is that. Um, thank you for watching this rather lengthy video. Um, luckily, I've had no disturbances so far. Um, cheers. I hope you've enjoyed what I've shown you. Um, I've still got more things on the way, and uh, the collecting never stops. Have a great week, everyone. I shall see you on the next video. Bye for now.